Through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Warren Buffett has been a part of the Ripple XRP Interledger Foundation since its founding. In today's video, we will discuss some hearts. Striking details that I've never even seen. As a result, when we work together on this, some of the films that we will watch are it's the first time I've seen it. Somewhat bizarre in the first video that we'll discuss, which was posted two weeks ago and has only five views. People's five points of view and pay attention to what they have to say about how conversion works with a settlement currency here. Thank you, Anderson, for this one. At last, we've there are just five views on this video. Settlement currency received the hybrid case, which is a combination of the preceding two situations in which conversion is carried out through a reference or settlement currency. Before the money is transferred, there is a first currency conversion, after that, the second currency is received. Ironically, it might be from Bitcoin to XRP, and then XRP to Euros is what he's referring to. Conversion occurs, and then the payment is made, so it travels through the first conversion and then the second conversion. All parties involved should keep a close eye on this person. However, before you all assume that this is all conjecture, how about we discuss Costa Peric serving as the chair of the Module Foundation and being in charge of the Level 1 project initiative that supports the growth of payment platforms. The Interledger Foundation and the Module Foundation have been collaborating to help the underprivileged for an extremely long time. Employees of Ripple co-founded and developed the foundation. To link banks and blockchains, Ripple released an intermediary back in 2015. You are aware that Cost Parity is also in charge of the Level 1 project. We've stated repeatedly that once we have a level playing field, I'll play the little montage at the end, but everything is obvious. Costa Peric has a very long tenure at Swift. It took him 23 years to decide to switch to the Bill Gates Foundation, therefore, its 2013 founding was significant. Why do I suggest that you pay attention to what he has to say? It's nine years old, this video. Metal views, only 150. Whoa. Thus, in a metaphorical sense, banks reside in castles, which are extremely safe environments for legitimate reasons, including risk management regulations, but you generally make a sandbox where you may experiment safely my advice, as is what we did in the Inna tribe and what I'm aiming to achieve at the foundation. It's kind of hard to innovate in such a situation. I know of a nice example of such an experiment in Bangladesh, it's a startup company named Bcash. It appears to be a young business that has achieved remarkable success in providing poor people in Bangladesh with mobile money, but in reality, it is a branch of the bank. Did you notice that he referred to Mike Drop? Let's go back to 2013, but first, before we discuss the remarks made on the Gates Foundation, would you just take a moment to listen to this? Video this was the Interledger Summit from the previous year. Notice how important it is. Interledger team, this new system is going to change everything. That's how it sounds like these systems operate. These things cannot be put into practice. In theory, if these systems are implemented correctly, they will create a new world where everyone's life will be different unless society and the regulatory environment desire to change them institutions, various mobile money providers, and customized solutions for individuals, if correctly executed, will bring forth a new world where everything will be different for everyone. Banks, various mobile money providers, and individuals themselves are aware that Warren Buffett is genuinely supporting Ripple, XRP, and ILP, and that it's not just hype. Going to alter everything, the world will shift, a new reality has emerged. Dubbed the Internet of Value, which has the potential to move trillions of dollars worth of tangible goods and genuinely be useful. Cuge between central banks and blockchain pay attention to this section, which was released in 2013 and discusses how digital payments might help businesses and the underprivileged see who takes part in the year. The foundation is run by a couple of people, and it continues, we were Buffett. He therefore has a trillionth of an understanding of what the Interledger Foundation's inner workings are. 
Although Ripple is still surviving, we believe that the combination of ILP and XRP is kind of the game-changing formula for the module foundation. Whoa, is it correct to say that one of Swift's pioneers is in charge of the project sufficient liquidity and access points? This pioneer began working there in 1990, which is a huge deal, and even if we can access a 2014 PDF here, the benefits of converting payments to digital here is what they had to say. Look who's involved, of course. Global Bank The Gates Foundation, Bill, and Mills since 2014, they have all been participating, and one of their top concerns is liquidity. They continued by saying that this physical infrastructure included things like granting physical access to financial services or cash-in and cash-out locations and making sure that access points, even in rural areas, had enough liquidity. Continue to be the key obstacles to the adoption of digital payments. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just wow. I am grateful to every one of you. Proceed if you guys like this video. Just hit that like button. It's free. Can we get 2000 likes? In case you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to read this again because we're giving away 1000 XRP when we reach 60,000 members. This channel only has hard hitting facts. In this video from 2014, the World Bank and Bill Mill of the Gates Foundation discuss how having adequate liquidity access is crucial before moving toward digital payments. Whoa, tell me what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and we'll get back to you with a chance one objective, level the playing field, because more than 200 nations are connected by their economies, especially through their payments and securities infrastructures. There is potential to improve mutual understanding between them. We're creating a level playing field across all cryptocurrencies used as a sort of universal bridge to connect the diverse economies of the roughly 20 countries in the world and ensure that the payment system functions. Blockchains are what provide that level playing field, and the liquidity in digital assets could be applied to make that much more democratized level playing field. The bank is bringing everything into balance between the new and the ancient, and that suggests hundreds of billions of dollars have been lost in the name of equal playing fields. All we want is for it to be competitive. To be competitive, U.S. enterprises must establish fair and equal conditions for competition. The problem we must solve is level playing. In everything we do, a level is created. Playing field, construction has begun. The argument made in the outro was that cryptocurrency liquidity would someday be able to sustain reliable international payments. The payment ripple was created so that users could turn on the switch when they realized how beneficial our fiat-based network was. When the market was sufficiently developed to ODL. Flip the switch, and that's precisely what's happening. I believe you are part of what we're building. I consider all of the tokens that my advice to solve the true problem is the utility would be clear to all. The token will have value if it truly serves a purpose and provides a genuine client with value. 